Today, we are excited to introduce advanced units for Divi 5, including a new multifunctional unit field that supports a broad range of units, functions, and variables. It supports all CSS units, including unitless values such as unset and fit content, and functions such as clamp and calc, making creating responsive designs with fluid typography easier than ever. You can also define CSS variables and reference them throughout your designs. Let me show you how it works. We replaced Divi's range slider and value picker with a new multifunctional field. You can drag it like a range slider, make minute value adjustments, or type in any value and unit. You can also select from commonly used units and functions. You can pair values with a wide range of units such as VW, which scales based on the viewport width, and REM, which scales fonts relative to the root font size. Unitless values such as fit content scale the width of any element to fit its content, and global values such as auto, initial, and unset are useful for unsetting values inherited from larger breakpoints. Functions such as calc, and clamp are very handy. Using clamp, you can create fluid responsive typography without responsive editing. Clamp 5 rem, 10 VW, 15 rem scales your text smoothly as the width of the viewport changes, but ensures the text will never become too small or too large. In this example, text scales proportionally at 10% of the viewport width but never exceeds 15 rem. Using calc, you can create custom formulas to calculate sizes using a combination of static and relative values. I have this fixed menu and I want 30 pixels of space on all four sides. If I set the width to 100%, there's no space on either side of the menu. If I reduce the width to 90%, it's better but the space on either side isn't consistent scaling up and down with the viewport width. I can fix this using calc. Calc 100% minus 60 pixels gives me the perfect width with precisely 30 pixels of space on either side. CSS variables are also supported. You can define CSS variables in the theme options or at the page level and plug those variables into Divi's new field. For example, I can define my H1 through H6 heading text sizes using CSS variables, then use those variables in my default title text preset and throughout my website. If I ever want to change the size of my headings, all I need to do is head back to the theme options and edit my variables. Advanced Units is available today and it's one of many features coming to Divi this year. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. The tedious work is behind us, we built the super fast foundation, and now it's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features, whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, we released another essential Divi 5 feature just a few days ago. Option Group Presets ushers in the era of class-based design for Divi 5. You can create option presets for things like backgrounds, borders, and text, and use those presets with any element, just like applying CSS classes to multiple HTML elements. There's a link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have a favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by liking this video. It means a lot to see you cheering Divi on, and It's essential to feed the algorithm and spread the word. Remember to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update. I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.